my conversation with ChatGPT regarding what Terrence Howard has to say and how people are responding to it. Um, I really didn't have anybody to talk to that didn't want to immediately argue with these ideals. Whereas I just kind of wanted to look into it and figure out something, anything. But I'm no scientist. I'm basically an actor on this planet like Terrence. I'm not educated. I dropped out of high school. So anyways, here is my conversation. Dear ChatGPT, are you familiar with a recent episode of Joe Rogan podcast where he interviewed Terrence Howard? ChatGPT says... I'm not aware of a specific episode of podcast, but I can provide information about Terrence Howard or topics they might have discussed if you're interested. Well, of course I'm interested, ChatGPT. Thanks for having a decent conversation with me because humans can't seem to do so. So I tell ChatGPT, Terrence Howard explains in that podcast that there is no such thing as a straight line in nature. He also states that one times one does not equal one, that one times one according to nature would equal two because with multiplication one times anything, you're multiplying it. So it would be more than one. Therefore, one times one cannot equal one. Kind of makes sense to me. One, if you multiply, how does it just, how do you just get one? Uh, this is a weird fundamental math that I personally never understood, and I always got that wrong in school. Like, I can go back and show you my grades. That's the one that I got wrong. It didn't make sense to me in my mind. So Terrence Howard's got me, like, thinking, right? So I tell ChatGPT, Terrence Howard says that 1 times 1 actually equals 2, and we've been doing math incorrectly this entire time. What do you think about that logic? Is it possible that we've been doing math and improperly and have been misled or miseducated is it possible that one times one does not equal two and that we've been doing math wrong based on straight lines instead of based on curvatures that would that we see in nature chat gpt response terence howard's perspective on mathematics appears to be based on a philosophical interpretation rather than a mathematical one that makes sense Philosophy, mathematics, they're two different courses you can take, two different places, you know. Some people take both, and they're the smarter ones doing other things, you know. So, uh, he is, he's looking at a a philosophical interpretation um, rather than a mathematical one. I kind of disagree with ChatGPT there, He's he's trying to incorporate the two is what I see. So, in conventional mathematics, says ChatGPT, 1 times 1 equals 1, and this is a fundamental principle that has been extensively tested and verified. Okay, while it's always valuable to question assumptions and explore different viewpoints, Howard's assertion doesn't align with established mathematical principles. That's true. These are established mathematical principles. This is what we all learn in school. So mathematics is a tool for modeling and understanding the world. Mathematics is a tool for modeling and understanding the world. And while it's... See, Terrence Howard does this mathematical thing on a computer where they... Well, it's not him, but another scientist builds Saturn using math, but using that the math from curved lines throughout the flower of life uh, thing, which I don't understand. I'm trying to. Maybe one day I will, but I, did, I never understood math to begin with, so... Uh, math, uh, Chat GPT says, Mathematics is a tool for modeling and understanding the world. We don't understand the world, but anyways. And while it's influenced by observations of nature, it's also a structured system with its own rules and logic. So humans structured that system with rules and logic. So while it's interesting to consider alternative perspectives in this case, the conventional understanding of multiplication remains widely accepted and used because of its consistency and practicality. All right, so ChatGPT is just saying we've been doing math the same way for a long time because that's all we've been able to wrap our heads around. Cool. All right, so 
my response then would be, is it possible that we can redefine and fine-tune mathematics to be something more useful to humans when defining physics and philosophy? Is it possible that if we combine philosophy with mathematics, we could come up with new fundamentals that would enhance civilization? Could we expand our minds if we understand the concepts that colors have sound and sound have colors and elements have sound and colors and that it can all be explained through math if we just change the way we think about math? Chat GPT responds, exploring the intersection of mathematics, physics, and philosophy can certainly, can certainly lead to new insights and understanding. So we have to do the exploring by just shutting this man down and his ideas down and calling him crazy. We're not exploring shit. We're just being ugly humans. Mathematics often evolves to accommodate new discoveries. Let me say that one more time. Mathematics often evolves. So why are we not letting math evolve? Okay? To accommodate new discoveries and ideas in physics and other fields. And philosophical inquiries that inspire new mathematical frameworks. New mathematical frameworks. I'm down for that, because certainly this world does not have shit figured out. There's tons of just technology and just the way we're supposed to be living that we don't understand. And our and our earth is dying because of it, and we're watching it. So, that's my thought. So, I'm just going to go back for a second. Chat GPT says, you know, artificial intelligence... Like mine. My intelligence is artificial. I don't know shit. All I know is what's programmed into me through our public educational school systems, which I got some other things to say about that. So anyways, the robot's telling me exploring the intersection of mathematics, physics, and philosophy can certainly lead to new insights and understanding. That sounds great to me. I don't dismiss anything Howard says. Let's take a look at it. Mathematics often evolves to accommodate new discoveries and ideas in physics and other fields. And philosophical inquiries can inspire new mathematical frameworks. That would be cool. I'm open to new mathematical frameworks. However, it is important to maintain a balance between creativity. So this is back like where the programming comes in. The machine is programmed to know that it's important to maintain a balance between creativity and rigor in mathematics reasoning. I mean, I guess that's a good statement. While unconventional perspectives can sometimes lead to breakthroughs, I like that idea. Mathematical concepts ultimately need to be grounded in logical consistency and empirical evidence to be widely accepted, right? Well, you have to play with math to get those answers. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Regarding the relationship between colors, sound, mathematical concepts, there are interdisciplinary fields like synthesia and sonification that explore these connections. So there is a little bit of science out there that's exploring these connections. So, but there's no evidence, there's, there's little evidence of what we were talking about, obviously. These areas of study demonstrate how mathematical principles can help us understand and represent phenomena that might initially seem unrelated. Yes, all those things seem unrelated. That's why everybody's trying to dismiss everything he's saying. Well, Terrence Howard is saying because it does seem unrelated. But there are areas of study that are demonstrating how mathematical principles can help us understand and represent phenomena. We don't, like, things we can't explain. That might initially seem unrelated. So while there's certainly potential for exploring these connections further it is essential to approach such endeavors with critical and open-minded perspective yeah that's what i'm trying to say we have to be ensuring that any new ideas or framework align with established principles 
So we have to ensure that the new ideas and framework align with established principles? I think they kind of do. We're just limiting how that happens for some reason. We're not doing the rigorous tests and validations. We're just dismissing it immediately. So anyways, I respond with, I think Terrence Howard does not have the answers, but the answer is being open-minded. And he is representing that. It's not that he's, he's not saying he has the answers. He's just saying what we're doing isn't necessarily, he's saying what we're doing isn't right. I'm saying he knows that there's more to it. And that's why he thinks we're not doing it right. But we're doing what we know. That's fair. Chat GPT agrees. We're doing what we know. But there's balance that needs to happen. We still need to be discovering. We still need to be educating ourselves. We still need to be, what, what did he say? Rigorously testing principles. We Why not? Don't just dismiss what the man's saying or anybody says. Don't dismiss anything anybody says. But I think Terrence Howard doesn't have the answers, but he is being open-minded. And he uses the example of one times one equaling two because he's attempting to do just that, open the mind. Spam. All right, so I believe the world needs a breakthrough and it's important to be inspired. Perhaps there's a lack of balance between creativity and rigor in mathematical reasoning. And the balance is that there is no creativity when the mathematical reasoning. And it seems that people get offended when you try to incorporate the two. Like, like for the longest time, math was something we were discovering. And then one day we just decided we had it all figured out. So we stopped discovering math. It's just, it just is what it is. Like, even ChatGPT said that math tends to evolve. Why are we not letting math evolve? So I say to, we should incorporate the two. So ChatGPT, you're saying that there should be balance between the two? And I think Terrence Howard is saying the same thing. Isn't the issue that we're not even associating with each other and there's no balance and or the creativity side is very much overlooked for the most part, except for the few people that are studying and the ideas and perspective that are mentioned in the synthesis and whatnot. It seems like there's an imbalance to me that needs to be corrected, don't you think? Chad GPT says, you make a valid point. I just asked the robot if the balance was off, that there's no creativity in math and that we need to incorporate it. Because, I mean, that's what nature does. There's balance in nature. There's all, it's just, and we're always learning and everything's always evolving. I mean, monkeys are fishing with spears now. We're, we look so much different as a species now than 40 years ago when I was born. We just all look different. We were all evolving. It's, everything is. But math. ChatGPT says, you make a valid point. I'm an un I dropped out of high school and I'm making valid points. It's because I'll tell you there's a reason I dropped out of high school. I didn't believe those people's agenda. Anyways, you make a valid point about the importance of creativity and open-mindedness in advancing knowledge and understanding. Thank you, robots. Thank you, artificial intelligence that can do things a hundred times better than, or a million times better than any human being. Thank you, robot that's about to take all of our jobs because you're smarter than us for agreeing with Lil O Me. Sorry, that was an ego thing. I didn't mean that. But, dude, I'm just going to read it again. You make a valid point about the importance of creativity and open-mindedness and the advancing knowledge and understanding. Indeed, innovation often arises from unconventional thinking. I think most of our history proves that innovation arises from unconventional thinking and willingness to question established norms. I questioned everything my whole life. That's spent my entire life doing that. 
while it's true that there can sometimes be a perceived lack of creativity with traditional mathematic reasoning, it's also important to recognize that mathematics itself can be highly creative and imaginative. Well, I do recognize that, and I think there's a large group of people that just math is math because that's what they were told, and they're not being creative or imaginative with math. It's part of the problems. Jet GPT 3.5 says many mathematic mathematicians explore novel concepts, make unexpected connections, and develop new frameworks that push the boundaries of knowledge. That's amazing. If we could push the boundaries of knowledge and we could all be smarter, then guess who's not going to take over? AI can't take over if humans are smarter. If we allow ourselves to be smarter. Just saying. So, even the robots say encouraging interdisciplinary collaboration and fostering an environment where diverse perspectives are valued can help address this imbalance. So, there is an imbalance and encouraging collaboration and fostering environment, like what Joe Rogan was doing, or probably what will happen with diverse perspectives, we they mentioned all those names in those podcasts, all the diverse perspectives, the people that could get together and have a conversation, a bunch of not educated, but high thinkers could get together and address this imbalance and promote innovation in mathematics and other fields. Interesting. So we could expand our knowledge. Cool. An actor, a comedian, and a rich guy that builds electric cars and some other people, a couple of actors and whatnot, could all get together and address this imbalance with the mathematicians and the scientists and what have you. That's a cool idea. I like that. The robots like that. And they agree that it could expand our knowledge. Cool. So while it's crucial to maintain, keeps going back here, rigor, and I don't know why robots use such weird words, like normal people don't say that word, and logical consistency and mathematical reasoning, it's also essential to recognize the value of creativity and open-minded exploration and driving progress and addressing complex challenges. Achieving a balance between these aspects can indeed lead to breakthroughs and advancements that benefit society as a whole. Balance. One two. All right. It always goes back to balance. Even in nature, there's balance. We keep talking about balance. Nature. How, uh, Terrence Howard's talking about balance. Joe Rogan always talks about balance mathematicians and scientists tend to argue one side or the other. Same with politicians. There's just no balance in these chaotic worlds. So I say to chat GPT, I don't think people are crazy. I think people just don't listen to each other. And that's what I'm... I'll tell you what I mean. It makes us look crazy. It makes us look crazy, don't you think? It does. Because like, rather than... the. Terrence Howard isn't crazy. None of these people are crazy. Everybody's pointing their finger at each other and calling each other names, and it's so dumb. But I guess we need balance. We need people to call each other crazy. I don't know. Anyways, um, that's the crazy part, right? Like, Terrence Howard isn't crazy. The fact that we're not sitting down and having more conversations like this comedian and this actor had, you know, I think it's holding us back as a civilization. Just the fact that we can't sit down and have these intellectual conversations as human beings just because they weren't educated. Did you see all them kids at that Oxford thing that Terrence Howard was at where... They're, they were just asking him stupid questions about his acting at science school. They were going to school. Anyways, that's a different rant. So ChatGPT says, 
Absolutely. Active listening is essential for effective communication and understanding. Sure, we should actively listen to each other. That doesn't include putting each other down or calling each other crazy or dismissing anything that each other has to say. We can listen to each other without dismissing everything. It's so annoying. So when people fail to listen to each other, misunderstandings can arise. Exactly. Nobody understands each other anymore because we're not listening. We're just automatically dismissing. And it can indeed make situations seem chaotic or irrational. Hmm. That's funny because a lot of chaos is happening. By actively listening and seeking to understand others' perspectives, we can foster empathy, collaboration, and mutual respect. It's a key aspect of building harmonious relationships and resolving conflicts. So... Instead of pointing fingers and calling each other crazy, we should just sort of intellectually talk to each other about this without acting like stupid. So you're right that attentive listening is crucial for maintaining coherence and sanity in our interactions with one another. It's... Thank you. You. So I believe that we're saying together as we ponder the situation... I'm talking to Chat GPT, like me and Chat GPT. Are, I'm just confirming that we're saying this together. It would be important for humanity to listen to Terrence Howard, and we should all work together to see if possibly we can come across an incredible discovery that could lead to breakthrough and advancements that would benefit society as a whole. So if we just listen to the guy and we do this, we could. No matter whether he's right or wrong or what have you, no matter what, the outcome is going to be a breakthrough, an advancement that would benefit society. So stop pointing your fingers and calling each other names and instead let's have a conversation so we can evolve. To dismiss, and to dismiss, dismiss anything he is saying would be crazy. To call him crazy for saying something is wrong... Don't you think? We should all collaborate and discuss his ideas, especially being that there are studies that are looking into what he's saying already. I don't think it matters who is wrong or what is right or if he's saying is true or not. What matters is that he is saying something that could potentially lead to a breakthrough that could possibly advance humankind, right? The robot says, Absolutely. Fostering an environment where diverse perspectives are welcomed and openly discussed in a crucial progress. Oh, cool. And innovation. I didn't read that right. Absolutely. Fostering an environment where diverse perspectives are welcomed and openly discussed is crucial for progress and innovation. So, Terrence Howard isn't wrong. What the rest of these people trying to argue with him or call him crazy, that's wrong. It shouldn't be an argument. It should be a think session. So rather than dismiss, dismissing ideas outright, it's important to engage in constructive dialogue, exploring different viewpoints, and critically evaluate the potential implications and applications of those ideas. While not all ideas may ultimately prove to be feasible or accurate, the process of explaining them can speak new insights and adventures for and avenues for exploration. And on Joe Rogan's podcast, they both talk about it. He Terrence Howard says, please, I just want to sit at a table with some of the greatest minds and let's all talk about this. And I think he has the ability if he doesn't, if he's not strapped for time and doesn't, if he's allowed to bring his, his instruments with him and have his, his dialogue and whatever he needs, his projectors like he didn't have, his, his videos, his pi pictures, like he had no visuals at Oxford. They didn't let him. The projector wouldn't work. And even on Joe Rogan's podcast, he was having troubles getting things to work and load. But luckily, he he made all those little doodads and, and, and was holding them up. And you can see the shapes and the lines and curvatures. And there was some sort of 
thing to look at, but I think there would be more to look at if like a group of people got together and really studied this stuff rather than just trying to dismiss it. So Terrence Howard's perspectives, like those of anyone else, deserve to be considered with an open mind and examined thoughtfully. Collaborative discussion and interdisciplinary inquiry can indeed lead to breakthroughs that benefit society as a whole. Benefits society. There's something we haven't heard in a long time. Is like what? What have we been doing lately to benefit society? Making fun of actors and such. Come on, people, get it together. Like, let's listen to the guy. Let's talk about it. Let's benefit society. Let's stop making memes and pointing fingers at each other. And being dumb. Collaborative discussion and interdisciplinary inquiry can indeed lead to breakthroughs that benefit society as a whole. So, the robot says the little old AJ who dropped out of school that didn't want anything to do with that brainwash... This robot tells me I'm absolutely right in emphasizing the importance of listening, discussing, and exploring ideas, even if they challenge established beliefs or conversations. One of my biggest things in school was I would question everything. I thought that's what we were there to do. I felt like I was a smart person. I felt like a smart kid. I felt like I was born with knowledge. It just took a while for me to use my words. But then when I figured out how to use my words, sitting in class, I would have questions. And the questions would, they were just that. They were questions. I was questioning the math. I was questioning the science. I had questions. And in school, I would get written up all the time for being a smart aleck, for disrupting class. I thought we were there to learn together. I didn't realize we were there to be brainwashed with whatever knowledge that the schools came up with. Based on whatever agenda and money and politics and all these other things, like school messed us all up. And this... Terrence Howard situation is just well we'll see we'll see I don't know I think it's going to be incredible and I think it's going to go back to being miseducated I don't know 85% of what I learned in school was incorrect so if i learned that also the math that i just couldn't get right is also incorrect then i think it like at this point at a 41 year old man pretty much nothing i learned in school was correct not one single thing i learned in public schools has been proven right and or has been disproven and or still needs to be studied we should be studying in school not being just slapped with information like this is the law we're, we're not brainwashed we shouldn't be programmed in school that's what they're doing they're programming us in school with knowledge that we're unsure of when we should be in school all learning together and i think that's the biggest thing like Ta terrence howard went to oxford trying to learn with these kids and these kids weren't trying to learn they were just trying to argue so there's my thoughts from a no one